If you're just getting into mixing your own vocals in FL Studio and you don't really want to spend the money on plugins yet, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you exactly how you can professionally mix your vocals with the FL Studio stock plugins. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, as I said before, I'm going to teach you guys exactly how you can mix your vocals with the stock plugins within FL Studio right here. So yeah, let's get right into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the plugins on the side right here that I have added to the main mix track of the vocal and then show you exactly exactly what I did with that stock plugin and show you why it works and stuff like that. But before we do any of that, you're going to need the raw vocal. So here's what we're working with for today's video. No pressure. Hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl want to flick. Yeah, she aggressive. Yeah, she want to keep it going, but I'm not blessing. Yeah. So as you can see, that is a very raw vocal right there. And it does need a lot of mixing and work. So we're going to get right into that. So the very first thing that I like to add to my mixes when using stock plugins is the pitcher plugin right here in FL Studio. This is basically their stock auto-tune plugin. So basically what you're going to want to do is put the key of the beat into the auto-tune plugin right here. This one happens to be A major, so I'm going to change that right here. You can click on this right here, go to A, and then start on major. And that should correct the notes, so I'll play it with the beat here so you can hear how the auto-tune is working. No pressure, hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive. Yeah she wanna keep it going, but I'm not blessing, yeah. So yeah, that's correcting the pitches. And one last thing that I like to do with my auto tune right here is, as you can hear, the auto tune is pretty robotic. No pressure, hopped out of the whip, and I'm not stressing. And for my personal preference, I don't really like it that robotic. So if we go down to the bottom left right here, under the speed knob right here, the faster we have this, the faster the plugin is going to recorrect the note. So in other words, the higher we have this knob turned up right here, the more robotic it's going to sound. So I like to turn mine to probably a little bit above medium. So we're still getting that pitch correction, but it does give it a little bit more of a human feel no pressure hopped out of the whip and i'm not stressing that girl wanna flick yeah she aggressive as you can hear it's just a little bit more human like and i really like that for my auto tune but you can do the setting however you want next up we have fruity parametric eq and this is arguably the most important plugin especially when using these stock plugins uh with all the limitations they have this is kind of going to be the make or break plugin so as you can see what i did with this one right here i have a very simple eq but there are a lot of crucial things that i did within here that make this vocal really pop so the first thing and i do this with all of my lead vocal EQs as I do a high pass and it's really just going to help cut out those low end kind of rumbly and background noises that you really just don't want in the vocal. So yeah, all you have to do to create that high pass is right click on the far left purple knob right there. Uh, go down to type, go to high pass, and then you should be able to drag it around and cut it exactly where you want it. Now, this is kind of just going to be a thing to listen to. So I like to play the vocal in the background and mess with it until I like the way it sounds. No pressure. Hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive. Yeah, she so it really gives it that kind of clean pop sounding vocal right there. And I like to do this with all of my EQs. Next up right here, we have the frequency cuts. So with every microphone and with every person's voice, there are gonna be some frequencies that come through that aren't necessarily gonna sound perfect right off the get go. So right here, what I did was I swept through with these three knobs in the middle, just trying to find frequencies that I didn't like. So I'll do that right here. No pressure. Hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she. See how I'm just kind of sweeping through and eventually I'll see the ones that spike up and don't sound good in my ear. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut those down just like this. And you don't have to cut it too much, just like about where I did right here. And then I did the same thing with these two knobs right here. And then once we go up into the high end right here, uh, I did a little bit of a high frequency boost to gain some clarity in the vocal. Cause without this boost right here, no pressure. Hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna. As you can see, when I moved it up, it just gave it a little bit more clarity, and I just like the way it sounds. Again, kind of moving towards that kind of poppy, rappy vocal. And then uh, I also did the same thing up in this high end right here, where I cut out frequency, just because sometimes those high, high frequencies get pretty harsh to listen to in the ear. So. I just used uh, an extra knob right there to cut one of those out. But yeah, that's basically all I do for my basic first EQ right here. But if you do get this EQ down pat, it's going to be very good for your vocals. Next thing I add is a compressor. What I like to do with my compressor is I keep my ratio relatively low, probably like three to one right here is what I did for this one. And then what I do with the threshold is I turn the threshold down until it starts to uh, crush the vocal. So I'll just do that right here. No pressure. Hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive. So you're gonna kind of have to get used to this with your ear and training your ear to hear this type of stuff. But I hear the threshold start to affect the vocal at about negative 18 decibels right there. And that's just gonna help level out the vocal and just take out those peaks of volume without completely crushing the vocal. So that's kind of where I like my thresholds. And then on this specific plugin, the Fruity Compressor, it's another stock FL plugin. 
uh, I put it on the vintage type and then here are my attack and release settings right there <clears throat> so yeah very simple for the compressor moving on I just put a balancing EQ on to balance out a little bit of those frequencies that we gained from the compressor so this is really gonna be different depending on how you like your compression and depending on how your voice sounds but again just cutting out some frequencies I didn't like and barely a boost in the high just to gain a little bit of clarity again now moving on I open a plugin called Maximus right here and I use this for a de -esser. now basically what this does is exactly what it sounds like it does it takes out those high S, T, and P sounds that really come through in the mix if you have that clarity really boosted. So what you do is you click top left right here arrow, go to presets, and then I go to D, S, or narrowband. Now what this does right here is this little yellow portion in the middle um, is, as you can see, there's a frequency range. It's from about 3K to like 9K right there, whatever. That's really where those high frequencies are going to come through. So the farther we turn the sound, the farther it's going to crush those high frequencies down. So I'll show you what that sounds like. No pressure, hot out of the whip and I'm not stressing, deck. You see, if I turn it all the way down right here, we're gonna lose all the clarity that we worked to get with the EQ. So really finding that sweet spot with the Maximus is really important. And if your S's aren't too harsh and you really like the way it sounds, you don't really have to add this, but sometimes I think with my specific microphone, the S's really come through. So I like to add this plugin, but yeah, really that's all you have to do with that plugin. Next is the limiter, and this is another pretty important one right here. So what we're gonna use this for is we're gonna create a noise gate with it. So what a noise gate is, is it's basically like the opposite of compression. Instead of taking out the highest of high sounds, it's gonna cut out the lowest sounding sounds. So like any background noise in your recording or anything like that. <clears throat> we're gonna create a threshold at the bottom and it's gonna cut out anything below that threshold. So again, we're gonna go to the top left right here go to presets and then go to noise gate right there. And this is gonna be our threshold right here. So if we turn the threshold too far up, we're gonna lose some of our vocal as you can hear. As you can hear, only the parts that are above the threshold are coming through. So hopefully that helps you understand the plugin a little bit more. But anyways, I'm gonna turn the threshold down just until we can hear all of the vocal, but we are cutting out that background noise still. No pressure, hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive, yeah she so yeah, that sounds pretty good. And if you have a really quiet vocal, sometimes it's gonna cut out a lot of your vocals. So recording a little bit louder might be a good idea. And then right here, the last three plugins I added, just some balance changes right here. So a compressor and then two EQs. So for the compressor, the settings are very, very similar. The only thing that's really different is I added a uh, one decibel of gain because after adding all these effects and stuff and taking away frequencies and compressing the vocal, we are gonna lose a little bit of gain. So I turned it up like, I'm probably gonna turn it up a little bit more because this vocal is pretty quiet, but uh, about two decibels of gain right there to compensate for the volume we lost throughout the mix. And then again, these are kind of just like personal opinions about my own vocal right here, but just some more balance changes, uh, cutting out some frequencies I don't like, boosting a little bit. But yeah, that's basically the entire basic mix. So the pitcher, EQ, compressor, EQ, maximus, limiter, compressor EQ and I know it sounds pretty complicated and repetitive but trust me each of these plugins have a very specific role and when put together especially when using stock plugins they're gonna work really well off of each other so yeah that's the whole basic mix right there and then some other effects I added I did a parallel compression bus right here uh, with another compressor now the technique I use for the parallel compression is just to make the vocal louder because this was a very quiet recording so on this parallel bus right here I added a compressor where I crushed the threshold a lot and then boost the gain a lot. And what this will do is it'll basically create a compressed double of the vocal when you route it down here. So I route it like that, and then it'll create that double of the vocal and make it louder. And you can kind of mix it in based on how loud you want the vocal to be. And then I added a sound goodizer. This is another stock FL plugin right here. It's kind of like a vocal enhancer. I have it on the A setting um, about a quarter of the way turned up. Um, and then fruity chorus, this just makes it sound like there's more than one person singing the recording. So it gives it kind of a wider feel, but for that, I turned it down about halfway on the right right here because if I turn it all the way up, it just makes the vocal sound way too no robotic. Pressure, out of the whip and I'm not stressing. So I turned it down to about 30% right there. No pressure, out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl. And then the phaser, this just kind of makes frequencies sweep from left to right. It's just kind of a cool effect that I like to add to my vocals sometimes. So I left that there and again I turned this down a lot because this one does sound crazy when turned all the way up. No pressure, out of the whip. So yeah, I turned it down to about probably like 10% right there. And yeah, that's all I do for the parallel bus. And then make sure you route it down here at the bottom like I showed earlier. And then the last thing I added to this vocal right here was just a very simple reverb bus. So um, I'm actually gonna name this reverb so it's a little bit easier to see. I'll just change these really quick. Okay, so as you can see, we got the basic effects right here. 
the parallel bus, and then the reverb. So all I had on this reverb was just the reverb plugin. This is also the stock FL reverb plugin. So what I did for this was I turned the wet all the way up, the dry all the way down. So we're going to get that really wet, spacious kind of feel. The decay, which is going to make the reverb last for longer, I turned it up just a tad, probably to about uh, 10 percent again right there and then the size i turned down a little bit because i wanted it to feel like the reverb was in a little bit more of an enclosed space because this song is kind of a little bit more chill and the beat isn't super big so i wanted to keep the reverb with the same vibe and then to get this effect on to the main mix all you have to do is select the main mix track right there and then click this little arrow down here to route the basic mix to the reverb track right there and the reason i put the reverb on a separate bus right here is because i can independently mix in the reverb from the main basic mix and it just makes it easier to tweak it exactly the way i want it to so that's a pretty good technique to use as well so yeah with all the basic mix plugins and the bus and reverb ones right here this is what the vocal is going to sound like no pressure hot out of the whip and i'm not stressing as you can hear it's pretty loud right now and the reverb is pretty high so what i like to do is as i said before i'm going to use these little toggles right here to mix them in exactly how i want it so the way i like doing this is I do them one at a time, I turn them all the way down and then just play the vocal with the beat and mix it in until I think it sounds good. No pressure, hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive. Yeah she wanna keep it calm but I'm not blessing, yeah. Everything you say to me, I just can't get out. Okay, that sounds good for the parallel bus right there because the vocal sounds like a good level within the beat and I like the effects that it's adding to the song. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the reverb. No pressure, hopped out of the whip and I'm not stressing. That girl wanna flick, yeah she aggressive. Yeah she wanna keep it gone, but I'm not blessing, yeah. Everything you say to me, I just can't. Okay, so yeah, that sounds pretty good right there. As you can hear, the beat is a little bit more chill and we're not gonna need as much reverb because I don't want it to kind of take up the whole song right there. So that's where I'm gonna put it for the reverb. Okay, so with all those stock plugins that we just added to the vocal, this is what the mix is gonna sound like. I'm not sorry. Yeah, that's how you make your vocals using only stock plugins in FL Studio. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're into improving the sound of your music and your vocal mixes, then you should check out my website where I have three available vocal presets. The one that I used in this video is completely free and it's called the Caleb James Lead Vocal Preset. So yeah, you should definitely check that out right after this video. I'll put it as the first link in the description. But yeah, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You always made it so complicated. I put in work making conversations. I'm never gonna lose focus, yeah. You were the first one to notice, yeah.